I've always wanted to go work in a profession where I can help others out, um, just kind of give back to the community that I work in. I am a firefighter. I have seen devastation, destruction. I like the idea of helping out in the community and being a part of a team. And I also was attracted to this career field because you get to do a lot of different things. I have seen the blazes. I have endured the suffocating dark. I have been blind and alone. I lived in the valley. Um, I, I wanted to stay in the valley. A lot of my family was here and Kakana offered paramedic and firefighting and that was one of the only places really in the Fox Valley that did it. So this was, was really my focus is to work here in Kakana. I have made my life a service to the community. When the call comes, I must answer, no matter how tired or sick. I chose Kakana Fire Department because it's the only full service fire department in the Fox Valley. The fire department not only is firefighting, it is uh, wildland firefighting, paramedic, um, we have extrication and hazardous materials response, among other things. Every time, at every scene, I leave a part of myself behind. Fire demands its price. The city is very supportive of our fire department. They're very happy to have us and support us very much so. I have known exhaustion, but I have forced myself to persevere. Take another step. Get the hose just a little bit closer. I can never give up. I have endured the nightmares that most have only ever seen in movies. I have felt the loss, and I have seen the horrors. Every time, at every scene, I leave a part of myself behind. Fire demands its price. It was actually a situation I had with my brother many years ago. I was actually going to school to become a teacher initially, and we had a typical spring storm. Our basement flooded. My brother went downstairs and let out a shriek and was basically getting electrocuted. And not really knowing a lot at the time, I grabbed on to him, thinking I could pull him off of the refrigerator. And that didn't really work out so well because I was now getting electrocuted. But I was able to let go. I went and hit the biggest breaker I could find on the breaker box and, and he fell to the ground. And that feeling I had after that, that incident it was just like, I gotta have that again. And it kind of brought me into the, the fire and EMS world. When that call comes in, I know deep down that I might not come back so that a brother, sister, child, or parent may live. I can never give up. Filled with communication, I often go unthanked, unremembered. I hope you'll never need me, but if that moment ever comes, I'll be there, always. Shikana is a very close-knit community. Uh, your neighbors are very friendly and they know you, so although it's a bigger city, it feels like a very small community.